So Arena Breakout Infinite just released its video on the Season 0 update, coming with the Early Access launch on the 13th, and here are all the major additions and changes coming to the game. To start, there's a new map. It's called the Armory Bunker, and this map is designed for close quarters combat. The bunker is three floors, and the new boss, Renoir, and his soldiers will be all through this place, so it's going to be chaotic. New weapons have also been added. We now have the M110 for long distance combat, and it has really good range. We are also getting the AR-57. It's a new assault rifle, but will have one of the fastest firing rates in its category. 11 other weapons will be coming, like the SCAR-L and M16, and also 111 new attachments to choose from. New equipment like helmets, chest rigs, and headsets are also coming. The early access will also launch with the spectate and replay feature. With this, you'll be able to spectate your teammates view and finish out the raid, seeing what's actually happening, as opposed to staring at a screen just letting you know you're dead. Cough, cough, Tarkov. <clears throat> Anyways. And also, after a short wait while spectating, the kill cam replay will start and you'll be able to see who killed you, where from, and what weapon they were using. So you can go check out the exact same one, catch them in another raid, and get some payback. Granted, that's not the true purpose of the replay system, but I am petty, so GG's. Lastly, some improvements were made to the maps and some other key features. Farm and Valley had their spawn points reworked to limit fights from breaking out too early in your raid. There were some improvements to vegetation and lighting just to improve the overall visuals. Also, the minimum graphics requirements were lowered, so if you at least have a GTX 960 or something similar, you'll be able to play without frying your entire PC. They also mentioned weapon improvements, but they literally just said they improve the overall feel, so seems like something we'll have to see in game. Also, the T7 thermal scope was nerfed. Sprint animations, footstep sound effects, also got some tweaking, which is always nice to see. And there was some shadow rework, so your shadows actually look like shadows now. Lastly, we have the seasonal system. When you join raids on certain maps as an operator, you either gain or lose rank points. And those points earn you tokens. You use those tokens in what they call the challenges store, and you can purchase seasonal cosmetics and other rewards. So we had some big additions, some small changes, some stuff in the middle, but all in all, early access for Arena Breakout Infinite is shaping up to be a dope release. Let's just hope we have no crazy server issues when it actually launches on the 13th. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you in the game and for the next video.